Good morning. Ay, 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 ay. This is from the letter of Jude. Just one little page. And I believe he was a brother of Jesus. A call to persevere. But, dear friends, remember what the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ foretold. They said to you, in the last times there will be scoffers who will follow their own ungodly desires. These are the men who divide you, who follow mere natural instincts and do not have the spirit. But you, dear friends, build yourselves up in your most holy faith and pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. Be merciful to those who doubt. Snatch others from the fire and save them. To others, show mercy mixed with fear, hating even the clothing stained by corrupted flesh. Of my old Carthusian monks who are up at this time of day um, to pray midnight vigils, and they're French, so he's reading from the book of Isaiah, the second chapter or something it was. There is evil in this world, and it takes many forms. We seem, human beings, seem to have a natural inclination, desire to gather together into a sort of collegiate um, community type of situation and thereby and therefore and therefrom therewith <laughs> <clears throat> to hold shared views, beliefs, practices and so on. Amongst our own circle we would like to think that we associate with those with um, sort of similar values and opinions and I don't know, all that stuff. I mean, it's just obvious, really. <clears throat> Clearly, if you look at human history, though, this leads to trouble. Because one set of people have a certain way of thinking and another set a different one. If the one set doesn't like the other set, then they'll persecute them. I've just experienced again personally in my own, own life with someone I know this awful sort of oppression, the iron fist of Roman Catholicism, I call it, 
whereby someone who should be nameless, quite frankly, um, thinks they can tell me how to worship God. And I, I know, I've known them for years, primarily through uh, emails, actually. But we've met a few times and shared a meal together and this, that sort of thing. And all of a sudden, this person seems to think they can tell me how to worship God. God, I was horrified. I make up my own mind how I worship God, thank you. No one tells me. And if they try, I mean, just... As far as I'm concerned, that is the end of any possible friendship. The last email was from a Christian friend, oh dear. Well, spare us from them, quite frankly. Mm. How did Hitler get the Germans to do what they did? They must have been mostly just ordinary folk, eating and sleeping and producing the next generation, as, as most people do, working, fixing gutters, whatever. And yet, look what happened. I have no power or authority in this world. They say power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. So I <laughs> quite easily managed to avoid um, having any power, uh, temporal power, power in the world. If I have any authority, it comes from God, the way I am now. How I speak, what I do, what I say, it comes from God. He has fashioned me into the man I am now at the age of 64. So I've always liked those words from the book of Jude. As I say, it's just one little page. And if we are living in the end times now, or beginning of the end times, or whatever, with the covid pandemic, coronavirus pandemic, um, it is the right way to be anyway, be prepared, be ready for the second coming of Christ, now, here and now, today, if it were to happen now, are your lamps filled and your wicks trimmed? Are you ready to receive Christ? Amen.